Mr. Speaker, House Bill 803, a bill to amend the curve related to green job creation income tax credit. Report from Finance on February 10th with a substitute. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen of the, of the House, uh, before I describe the bill, first I'd like to uh, recognize the gentleman from Alexandria, Delegate Kame, who provided significant assistance on this bill, as well as uh, Delegate Elegant uh, England from Alexandria. What's the jobs bill, Mr. Speaker? Uh, this bill will provide a $500 tax credit for up to 350 jobs per year, um, statewide, of course, uh, five-year terms, and it'll apply for the manufacturing and operation of the generation of electricity or pr uh, production or operation of alternative fuel systems, uh, providing liquid fuels. Mr. Speaker, I would move, uh, move we pass the bill. General Fairfax, Mr. Keene. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I have to speak to the bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And uh, I want to start by uh, thanking and acknowledging the great work and the leadership of the gentleman from Franklin, uh, Mr. Poindexter, for uh, leading this effort. Um, we've heard all this week that uh, this is about jobs, that we need in this tough economic times to be creating jobs. Well, what, what this bill does is creates the entire Commonwealth as a green job zone. So we're allowing for any company that either comes here or creates a new job or, or is able to start a, uh, a new uh, business in the renewable alternative fuels to be able to get a, a tax credit. Now, I understand next week we'll be having a lot of dis discussions about the budget and the tough economic times that we're facing. And I know we'll have a lot of debates about what the right policy is as far as where we make the cuts and where we make the savings. But I think the one thing that we can all agree on both sides of the aisle is that we need to grow the pie. We need to make the, the, the economy itself and the base as large as possible to create new jobs so that we have more more surpluses that we can talk about cuts and spending. So to the extent that this becomes a, uh, both a bipartisan effort and a jobs effort, I'm happy to join uh, my friends on the other side of the aisle, and I just want to acknowledge uh, the, the fact that the governor had uh, reached out to us as well to work together. So this is one time when I feel very honored to be able to be uh, in, in a bipartisan effort. So thank you for, for that, and I appreciate the, the support. Thank you. I'm going to order the bill engrossed and put it on its way to passage. Shall the bill pass? Clerk will close the roll. Ayes 94, no zero. Ayes 94, no zero. The bill is passed.